Next, let's construct some polygons. We'll start with the triangle, then the hexagon, the square, and finish up with the pentagon. In all, we'll make use of the circle to make our job more integrated. We begin with a vertical segment. Like always, we mark the endpoints of the segment. Now, using the lower point as the center of the circle, we draw a circle with a radius the size of the segment. We then extend the radius to make it a diameter. Once one diameter is in place, we construct the perpendicular bisector of the vertical diameter. This new diameter, because it is the perpendicular bisector, it forms four right angles at the center of the circle. Now we start to build our polygons. If we center the compass at any of the four tangential points of the circle and draw an arc the size of the radius, intersecting the circle at one point, we have, in fact, the marks of the three points of a three-sided regular polygon, also known as an equilateral triangle. Draw the segments to show the triangle. Now, if we do this again on the other side of the circle, and also twice again at the bottom of the circle, we now have the six points of a regular hexagon. Draw the lines. From this we can see that a regular hexagon has six equilateral triangles inside. Next to the square. To construct the square, we go back to the original perpendicular bisecting diameters and realize that the four tangential points found originally are also the four points of the corners of a regular four-sided polygons. Draw the lines and the square is born. The last polygon we'll construct is the pentagon. To do the pentagon, we'll go back to the original perpendicular bisecting diameters. To start the construction of the pentagon, first we have to bisect one of the radii. I selected this left radius. After bisecting the segment representing the radius, we draw a circle centering at the midpoint of the radius we just bisected and extending to the center of the original circle. Of course, the other end of this new circle is at the left tangential point. Next, we draw a line that passes through the center of the small circle and the lower tangential point of the original circle. We then continue by drawing two arcs. Centering the compass at the lower tangential point, we draw the first arc passing through the top intersection of the small circle and the line passing through the center of the smaller circle, and a second arc passing through the bottom intersection of the small circle and the line passing through the center of the small circle. Notice these two arcs each crosses the larger circle at two points two to the left and two to the right. This gives us four corner points of the pentagon. The fifth corner point is the top tangential point of the larger circle. Using these given points, draw the five segments that represent the pentagon.